Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Trust me, this is a very strange job. So what's the story of this laptop, yeah? <sighs> it's very weird. So this is a customer who came on the shop, on the shop I worked before, and he said he's looking for me. <coughs> anyway, if the customer is not opening like a service request on my website, it's not my customer, it's the shop customer. Um, he left the motherboard. He left the motherboard to have the charging port repair. Now I'm not doing videos with every repair. Yeah. So this uh, this uh, board was fixed. The charging port was repaired. And uh, usually when I'm doing these kind of jobs where you cannot test it, yeah, I send a picture to the owner of the shop. Yeah, I send him a picture. With the meter, yeah, 19 volts, you can see. So that's the port which I fixed. 19 volts, so the charging port was fine. The light was present. And I told him, show this picture to the customer. This proves the job was done properly. Yeah, And that's the way how I'm dealing with the bore repairs. I done my job. I fixed the charging port. But, you know, it's not up to me the, you know, if the board is working or not. The customer asked for a charging port replacement. Anyway, you can't test it. You know what I mean? So you have to fix the port in order to test the board. The board, uh, the customer took the board, uh, he tested the board, and the, the shop called me, uh, the laptop is not working, so he left the laptop fully for repair. Now, it's interesting. If you are plugging the charger, you see in the picture, yeah? Good. 19 volts was on the picture. Here is 5 volts. So what happened? Uh -huh. What happened? Because on that picture, you know, 19 volts means you have a healthy uh, PD controller. It looks like a healthy board. But this one with 5 volts, it doesn't look good. So you understand why this job is weird? Yeah, that's why. Now I'm curious why the board is not working and what happened? What happened with the board? I mean, it was good. Now it's not good. How that happened? I did a bad job. Mm -hmm. I don't think this fault has anything to do with it, uh, with the charging port. But we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Okay, so the laptop is open, and that's how uh, the laptop is looking inside. I don't know if this is the board I fixed it or not. I, we have to turn it on the other side to see if indeed that's the board. But let's unplug the battery. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not comfortable with the battery plugged in. Let's plug the the adapter because that's how I test the laptop. Yeah, with without the battery. So without the battery, we still have five volts. Huh? So this is strange. Strange, strange. Okay, let's check the main power rail. Just, you know, some basic uh, checks on the board. Okay, so what's going on here? We have the capacitor on the main power rail. 1.4 ohms, yeah? So short. What do we have here? Here, we can see the, the path, yeah? The path of, uh, of the, the schematic, yeah? Coil, chip, capacitor, 1 ohm, yeah? Good. Here we have, I'm not sure about this schematic. If I'm not sure, we are moving forward. Here we have 1 ohm, yeah? Here we have 1 ohm. And I'm assuming this is the main power rail, it's not. So the main power rail is shorted, right? Here we have a current sensor, here is good. After uh, we have two MOSFETs, check here, we have two MOSFETs here, then we have two MOSFETs here. So this is the, the coil which is creating the main power rail. So the main power rail has to be here, 1 ohm. So you see something happened from the point the customer took the motherboard from here and uh, he put the motherboard back. Should we open uh, and check if, if it's the same board? Do you think the customer swapped the board? Hmm. 
let's check because you know it's quite hard to like you know short a main power rail. I mean, it's quite a coincidence. The customer took the, the job last week, so from the last week till now, he got like what, like a shorter capacitor or a shorted MOSFET? Weird. So let me take the board out. Okay, yeah, that's the board. Whoa, that's that's <laughs> that's that's unexpected. That's the motherboard. You can see the the charging port. Again, I know this is a Huawei, yeah, but I, I didn't do the video with this repair. I mean, I know we have a video with a Huawei charging port, but it's just a coincidence. It's not the same job. So that was the repair I did. And check that, proper solid, right? Yeah, that's the repair I did. Also, I also strayed the, the charging port here. You can see it. I mean, it was a good repair, right? So what happened? Why this board is shorted? I mean, I have so many questions. The, the board was good. What happened? Let's grab the power supply and let's find out because uh, it made me feel bad. You know what I mean? So probably the customer knew the only problem is the charging port, right? I fixed the charging port. I test the motherboard. The motherboard had 90 volts on the... Yeah, I can show you the picture one more time. The customer took the board and the board is not working. What do you think the customer will think? You broke it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Exactly what does the, what the customer will think. I mean, one more time, yeah, 19, check that, 19 volts. You can see it's the same motherboard, same one. Because if I seen, yeah, okay, I, swap, I replace the charging port and the board is not working, I will say it, you know, but your board is still not working. Okay, let's see. So we took the board out. Let's check again with the meter, just to be sure. Checking again with the meter. 19 volts. Oh, lol. What? Now the board is not shorted? But we checked together. It was shorted. It was shorted. Ha! If I remember, I think, yeah. It's supposed to be a foil over over this part, right? Ah, I can't believe. So now if I check, probably it's not short. Yeah, what do we have? The this capacitor? No, it's not short. This is a very unlucky customer. So he forgot to put the foil, and probably the board is touching with the. It's touching, it's touching this board, right? The metal. Because otherwise it cannot be explained. One more time. Let's put the board back. Okay, so the board is back, right? Yeah, it is. Now if I'm checking the main power rail. Check, the, check on the screen. One ohm. If I'm just, you know, look. How can I do it? Wait, how? So even if I leave the board, it's still short. So what is the short? Are the charging port? How the short can be at the charging port? It's not making sense because everything is covered with. Uh... No, it's not. You know where is the short? I will. T I will show you where. One second. Let's get some uh, tape. Uh, the pins are covered with UV UV gel. Yeah, so that cannot short the things here. So here can be the short here. Let's try one more time, yeah? 
Okay, so the board is on place. It's still short. Okay, cannot be, one second, cannot be at the charging port. Because the short is on the main power rail. After, after the, the this power supply, yeah? So it's not on this side, it's on this side, yeah? So uh, must be something else. Okay, let's use some uh, tape. So now you understand why the foil from the back of the board is important. Yeah, that's why. So now the board is covered on tape. Let's try one more time. Okay, so now the big question is, with the tape on the back, we still have short? No short, I can push it. No short, you can see. Now let me put back the laptop and uh, test again. Okay, so the motherboard is back on place. Plug in the battery. The battery is plugged. Let's plug the charger. Plug in the charger. 19 volts, but it's not charging. Because the battery is dead. Let's help the battery. So the battery has uh, 7.6 volts, so 8 point something will be fine. Good. Current, yeah, 2.2 amps should be fine. We have minus, we have plus. Charging with 2.2 amps. Check on the charging current on the meter. 300 milliamps, 400, check, check that. 440 milliamps, 800 milliamps, one amp, 1.2, yeah. So now the battery starts charging normally. That's how you bypass that pre-charge current. So now the laptop is charging with two amps. Now let's see if it's working. Pressing the power button. And the fan is not spinning. Oh, it's working. No, the fan is not spinning. No, no, no. You remember from the last video when I heat up the heat sink. So it's spinning only when, in, uh, when it's hot, when the CPU is hot. And it's working fine. Okay, so uh, everything is fine. So what we can learn from this kind of repair? First thing what we can learn is actually Sorin, even if he's not doing a video, he's still doing good jobs. The second, what we can learn is uh, pay attention if you take the board out, because not everyone watching th those videos actually is fixing laptops. But anyway, if you open your laptop, pay attention on, uh, you know, things which doesn't look important, like that foil from the other side of the board, which it is important. Another thing, if you think it's a little bit over your hand, just, you know, choose a repair shop to handle uh, your repair. Now another aspect, have in mind the foil actually from the back, it's a lot better, it's a plastic foil, it's a lot better compared with what I have here, like this kind of tape, yeah? So if you have something sharp, uh, can punch through this, uh, you know, this is like normal electric tape. So the plastic foil, it's a lot better compared with this one. But even this one, it will do the job, you know, in a case the customer uh, doesn't choose, you know, to punch the keyboard or on the back of the laptop. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to stop here. I'm happy I helped this customer. I will say uh, thank you for watching. I guess subscribe if you like the video and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.